Welcome to Lecture Hall E for our pre-post-pandemic video extravaganza where we will make nylon 6-6 out of hexamethyldiamine and adipyl chloride. This little guy is six, a six carbon chain with two amine groups at the ends. And this one is a six carbon chain with two carboxyl chloride groups at the ends. This is about a 1% solution in cyclohexane, and this is about a 1% solution in one half molar sodium hydroxide. So the base keeps this uh, dissolved, and the nonpolar solvent keeps this dissolved. One of the things that allows us to do is to layer these two solutions. If we were to start with just the hexamethylene diamine and the adipyl chloride, they would react instantly as, as pure chemicals and it wouldn't be pretty. It would, there would be a lot of heat and um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get good mixing. But by diluting these compounds into solution, we're able to take a fairly small amount of the active ingredients in a fairly large amount of solution. Because this is water and this is a hydrocarbon, the water is denser than the hydrocarbon, and so we can float the hydrocarbon on top of the water. And so what you see here, as I add the cyclohexane with the adipoil chloride, to this mixture is that there's, there's a sort of cloudy formation. And that cloudy formation is a condensation product where the acid chloride of the adipoyl chloride meets up with the amine of the hexamethylene diamine and forms a bond. So what we can do is I can reach in and pinch that layer and pull it up because it's a solid. This is nylon 6-6. And as I pull it up, you can see I'm pulling the skin that forms. And as I expose the fresh solution, right? Remember, there's a layer of, of water and a layer of hydrocarbon. As I expose that interface by pulling away the nylon product, new nylon forms. And it's connected to the old nylon. So what I get by pulling it up slowly is a continuous thread. And if I pull quickly, I get a thin thread. If I pull more slowly, the reaction is happening at a slightly thicker, uh, in a slightly thicker layer, so I get a thicker thread. So there is a thread of nylon 6-6. It's pretty contaminated with water and cyclohexane and unreactive monomers. Um, when nylon was discovered, it took the, 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 the actual reaction was, was, was fairly, um, was, was fairly you know, sort of instantaneously recognized as, 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 a, as a great polymer, but it took them many years to get to the point where they could take this product and turn it into a usable, um, a usable plastic, a usable polymer.